Like most people I think who've ever been to a public aquarium, every time I've gone to visit an octopus, I've had the feeling that the animal is looking at me back. And you look into those eyes and you can tell that there's something there. And in addition, I've always been really interested in other minds. And I had read that octopuses are really smart. And this was what made me want to get to know an octopus. I was astonished to find out about these animals. They can taste with their skin. An animal who's 100 pounds can squeeze itself through an opening the size of an orange. And most of their neurons aren't even in their brain, they're in their arms. So they may have different personalities in their arms. A severed octopus arm can go off and do stuff, like hunt. But I think what surprised me the most was how close you can feel to an octopus. Someone who is so different from us that you'd have to go to outer space to find someone more alien can still have a relationship with a human being, can recognize you, can single you out, and can affect your life so profoundly. Oh, I love them all so much. But I think Octavia is the octopus of my heart. I got to know her right after she came to the New England Aquarium, and I saw her transformation from a shy animal who had been living in the wild as an adult and, and who was a little nervous around people to somebody who really relished interactions with people. And then, of course, I got to see her lay eggs and to tend to those eggs, and that was an amazing thing to watch. She was assiduous in her caring for these eggs. Uh, she was a great mom. She was definitely mom of the year. Then to be able to reunite with her in her old age after we'd been separated. Each one of these octopuses, I think, just like each individual human can affect you differently, each one of them, I think, changed my life and made me a more compassionate person.